Uh, all right. So I, uh, it's the same day as I cooked the pizza pizza pie, which was looking really good. Um, and I was going to do some sausage and mash just now, but um, I, I've got quite a lot of work I need to do this evening, and I've not really got time. So I'll do that tomorrow. So I'm going to want to do something quite quick tonight. So uh, a wee bit different. What I was going to do today is uh, what I'm going to do for my dinner tonight is a packet of them. Um, get the angle right with this right. It's quite difficult to find the angle. Two minute uh, instant noodles. That's what I'm going to do today. So I'll turn that on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up. So what you do is, is you open the packet and you um, put in whatever the powder is. In this case, it's I think it's curry masala, so it's a sort of curry flavour. Put that in. Put these packets into the bin. So stick some water onto it. So you put some water into it and then boil it up. Once it's boiled, uh, just take it off the heat, break the noodles up and that's it done. And then that's all I'm going to have for my dinner tonight. So, so that's done. So I'll talk to you next time. I'm only joking. So uh, what we can do with this, just a wee attempt at humour there. Um, what we can do with this, um, don't underestimate how good the instant noodles are. Um, they can actually turn into quite a nice bit of dinner. So that's your starting point. Now I'll do another video another day where I just use noodles and I don't use the powder, I don't use the... because uh, the, 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 it's full of MSG and salt and stuff like that, stuff you don't really want. But um, So I'll do that another day, but for now it does give a nice bit of flavour to it. But basically what you want to do is quite simply add vegetables to it. Um, so I don't have m many vegetables uh, that I can use, but um, I thought to myself, I've got peas, and I know I've got that pepper, and I know I've got some parsley, so that will that will do. So that'll be enough. So put a good a good handful of peas in, and we'll chop in. How is it? We'll chop in some peppers. And if I had mushrooms, if I had courgettes, aubergines maybe, uh, green beans, fine beans, maybe broccoli, that kind of thing, I'd be putting all that in as well. Basically kind of any vegetables that are not, you know, you wouldn't be putting potatoes in or Swede or something, you know, carrots really are. Maybe you could grate some carrots, but um, the kind of root vegetables you wouldn't really be bothering with. Uh, you know, this is only going to boil up. Once this is boiled, I'm going to take it off the heat and, it's, and that's it done. So, uh, maybe put a wee bit more pepper than that. So we've now we've got some vegetables in there, um, and I'll be putting mushrooms in. I'll be putting other bits of courgette and everything in uh, if I had them. I just don't happen to have them. So that's the next thing. So we've we've made it we've made it better now. The next thing, let's have some uh, ginger. Put some ginger in it. That might not quite be enough. So. And the good thing about this kind of uh, this wee soup, this is going to cook up in a couple of minutes. There's nothing to it. It's dead cheap. These wee packets of noodles are like you know whatever they are, thirty pence or so. I've seen them for five for a pound sometimes. So you know they're they're dead cheap. You just uh, you know there's nothing to it. You just pop some water in it. You pop the water in it, and you know there's obviously no uh, no skill involved in it at all. But you can. You know, you can really kind of um, 
make them into a nice bit of dinner just basically by chucking in a load of vegetables so and ginger and herbs as well for the next thing almost cut myself there see how many videos Putting a fair amount of ginger and I quite like quite like the ginger. See how many videos I can do before I cut myself. Probably cut myself right now having said that. This is actually quite a lot of ginger. Um, but uh, it's okay, it's good for you. Uh, sorry, what was saying, the, the good thing about this kind of thing is that the um, you're you're boiling the um, vegetables and the ginger and stuff up in the liquid and then you're going to drink you're going to you're going to you're going to, you're going to eat that liquid uh, so you are not uh, getting rid of any of the nutrients you're going to you're going to eat them just break the noodles up looks good already and then the next thing is vegetables ginger and now herbs I'm just going to use my parsley. I'm just want to kind of shave it. I'm put some of the stalks into this. It's not too bad. But I'm actually wondering if I'm even going to have enough for my mashed potatoes tomorrow. Yeah, I'll make do with it. A lot of use out of that one pound, um, <laughs> of that one pound's worth of uh, parsley. It's, done it. it's been involved in a lot of meals. And basically, all you're doing is once that comes up to the boil, just turn it off. stock so I'm just going to turn that off now that off the heat. Um, so, go on super noodles, um, sorry, not, well, you could use super noodles, just the, I've just got, got the, the instant noodles. Um, so, noodles, water, boil them up, we've added vegetables, I've just gone peppers and peas, um, you could be adding other things as well. Then ginger, so we've raised it again, you know, we've got, it's got better, it's got more, got better for you again. And then herbs, Again, better for you, just, just increasing the nutrient value of it. Coriander, chives, that kind of thing could go in there as well. So then I was thinking, what about, uh, you remember pot noodles? I remember having pot noodles when I was young, really enjoying them. What's, what do you put into the pot noodle? Uh, the wee sachet of uh, soy sauce. So, I'm going to talk soy sauce now. Uh, I get these ones from the, um, see if I can get this angle right. I get these from the... Uh, Chinese supermarket. So as you can tell from my accent, I live in uh, South East London, and, which is I'm quite fortunate because I've got everything on my doorstep. So I'll go up to um, to the Lunfeng Chinese, rest, uh, Chinese, rest, Chinese supermarket um, up in Chinatown and uh, I'll buy this and I just think that this is better than the, the gear you get out of the, Chin uh, out of the supermarkets. You know these wee bottles that with a red cap on them. I just think that this stuff's better. I think it improves stir fries, no end. I think it, and, and and soups. Um, I've got dark and light, and I'm kind of questioning why I need dark. If you put dark into there, 
it'll turn this soup basically black and it's just not it doesn't look very nice but the light it just it doesn't make it quite as dark so it's, it's quite nice it still looks quite nice it's not gone just jet black um, I'm going to start using the light in stir fries and if I just if, I, if it works I'm actually going to just stop getting the dark because there's kind of no need for it while you're at the Chinese supermarket if you can you know next time you're in a city or whatever if you don't live in the city get, but if you do get to the city go to the Chinese supermarket pick up your soy sauce this is cheap and it's the closest to the stuff I can find to what you have in the Chinese restaurant to what you you know when you're having a you know chicken chow mein and you get that flavor of the the noodles and the, and, and the soy sauce um, this also works really well if you're doing like I'll do one day some trout with some rice pour this over the rice so this seems to work with soup and pouring over rice and it says di dipping and if I can make this work in a stir fry then I just don't really need um, the dark also, when you're up there at the Chinese supermarket, get some of this gear. Uh, your uh, oyster sauce, Lee Kum Ki Panda brand oyster sauce. Um, really, really nice. This plus the soy sauce in a stir fry. It's just, it's so good. Um, definitely recommend that. And then what I'm going to do finally is I'm going to put some sesame oil onto it. And again, I bought this from the Chinese supermarket. Again, these are these are cheap. These are a pound or so for these big bottles. And this stuff here is pure, it's 100%, so ingredients, sesame oil, that's all it is, 100% sesame oil. Um, uh, some of the other ones have got other kinds of oil in it, so I'm just going to put a few drips of this on it. Just a few drips of that on top. And uh, I've also got the uh, the rice wine, so I can get that into shot as well. So if you're doing a stir fry, we'll do a stir fry one day where I'm going to put rice wine, I'm going to deglaze the pan with rice wine, then I'm going to add in the soy sauce and the oyster sauce, and it's really, really good, really nice, rich stir fry. So, but back to the noodle soup. So what we've done is we've, we've taken the noodles, we've obviously just put the water on them and started to boil them up, then we've raised it by putting the vegetables in it, we've raised it again by putting the ginger in it, we've gone further with the herbs, and then finish it off with the uh, the nice seasoning of the soy sauce and the um, soy sauce and the uh, sesame oil. So again, you just take. I quite like that because you're taking something that costs thirty pence and is just kind of looked down upon, and you, you kind of wouldn't think you can do anything with it. And you've actually created a really nice bit of dinner that's um, that you know that's nutritious, costs nothing. It's a nice warm plate of food as well. Um, and uh, just between you and I, don't tell anybody, but I'm actually just going to eat it straight out of this bowl, uh, straight out of this pot. I'm not even going to put it into a plate. So while it's just sitting here, it boiled out, it's just going to cool down. Once it cools down to the eating temperature, it will have cooked right through. So um, yeah, a nice quick one today, and I shall talk to you next time.